Hi, this is Vandana Havanipur, and this is the second video in the series of videos that I'm preparing, uh, teaching you how to work with DocBook. In the first video, link up here, we went through um, checking out files from SVN repository and creating our structure for the two books that we're going to be working with. You don't necessarily have to have two books, but here, since O'Reilly has created two SVN repositories, I'll check both of them out into first book and second book. You can just go and check out that video. In this video, I'm going to teach you four things. Downloading DocBook documentations is the first thing. Second thing is writing DocBook in Xcode. Third thing would be validating an, a DocBook XML file. And the fourth thing, which is the last thing, is generating uh, PDF files from your DocBook. So let's first go ahead and, create, and get the DocBook documentation. Open your browser, Google DocBook. The first thing that will come up here is docbook.org. Go to that website, go to documentation, go to the definitive guide. And I'm really sorry I'm talking too fast because it's just 15 minute video limitation on YouTube. So I just have to really do it fast. Um, in the definitive uh, guide, go to the zip archive, download this. All right. Wish my internet connection was faster. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Got the documentation, I put it here, I rename it to DocBook. I'll put it up here, fantastic, en, html. There is a file here called docbook.html. I put this on in my browser, so I always have access to it. I'll call it DocBook reference, okay. Now if you go here, you can see that it's gonna load it locally and you get access to all the tags that you can use in DocBook. Perfect, okay, so I'll minimize my browser here. Good, the, the second thing that we're gonna do is to write some DocBook tags in Xcode. So what I want to do, I'll first show you what I want to write there in, in a normal text file I'll show you first. I wanna type, in this video, we will learn four things. So this is a paragraph. Then I wanna have a bullet list. I wanna say, downloading DocBook docu documentation, writing docbook in Xcode, validating docbook XMLs, and generating PDF from docbook XML files. Perfect. Okay, so this is this is what I want to create in my um, uh, books, in one of the books that we're going to work with. And we're going to learn different tags using this. So let's open Xcode my workspace. Okay, opening Xcode. Okay, as you can see, the first chapter is chapter 00. We're working with the first book. Again, if you haven't watched the first video, please go ahead and watch that video because we checked all these files out from the SV repository in that video. I'm going to go to this chapter and I'm going to create a paragraph. As you can see, I'm in section, zero, uh, section one. We don't really care about those. Just find a, an empty space to write your tag. So you, you might you might have noticed that I'm just saying go and create a paragraph. Now, what is a paragraph? Now, let's search in the documentation. We will arrive at this tag, which says paragraph. So it's a tag that is P-A-R-A, -A, which is for a par paragraph. You can go there. It's got some examples for you. You can have a look at the examples. Nice, nice. Okay. So I'm going to start a paragraph. And in there, I'm going to close it immediately. And I'm going to put my text in there. I'm going to say, in this video, we will learn four things. Nice. Now, I want to create a bullet bullet list. How do I do that? I'll search in the tags for bullet. As you can see, there's a tag called itemized list. All right, itemized list. I'll open it, and I will close it. All right. You might want to uh, also learn how to format and indent your uh, text correctly like for example if you have something like this you can select it in Xcode press control and I which will indent it properly okay now itemized list has its own sub tags which are called the list item which are the bullet lists so I'll open it as you can see each list item has got its own paragraph I will open a paragraph close the paragraph close the list item and make four of these because we want four bullet points. I'll paste my text here. Okay, between the paragraph, that's the first one. Second one. Third one. 
we don't have to copy paste. I'm just doing it here so you can learn it faster. I mean, you're you're probably just gonna start using Xcode instead of putting your text in another text editor. So this is this is um, our text. Fine, perfect. Okay. Now you might be curious. I mean, um, we've written the, the format here. How how do we make sure that this is a proper format? How do we validate this format? We're, well, there are three things that we have to do here. Very very important. First. Um, we need to make sure that we're validating all these files from our local machine because validation usually is something that goes on, on the internet, checks out some files from some places, downloads some files and starts validating your docbook XML files. That, that process is a very lengthy process. So what we have to do is we have to download all the schemas for docbook into our local machine and using our local machine always validate our files. So let me go ahead here. And by the way, okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. What we will do, the first thing is to, we have to find Mac ports. Mac ports. Go ahead on the website, go to installation, and download the DMG file that belongs to your machine. I've already done that. It's in my downloads folder. So what I will do, I will just install it. I'll install Mac ports. Okay. Nice. Installing Mac ports. All right, all right, all right. In the meantime, I will get rid of some files that I had created here previously. You don't have to do this because you don't have these files yet, so don't worry about it. Okay, Mac ports installed perfectly. Close up. The second step is to run this command in terminal now don't ask what this actually is this is just gonna do uh, it's just gonna get your uh, docbook xml schemas into your uh, xml cat catalogs so copy this text open a terminal window paste it press enter ask for your password Okay, for me, since I had already installed this, this just did a couple of things. For you, it might be a longer list. This is actually going to be a longer list. It's going to be like 20, 30 things that are going to go on on the screen. So don't worry about it. After it's installed correctly, you're done with this second step. The third step is to create um, a, a terminal command for yourself so that you can reuse it later to validate any, XML, any docbook XML file. So what you have to do here, I've already put it here in a text file. I'll enlarge it so you can see it better. Put this file into a text file, into your text edit, into a new file. Then go to format in text edit, go to format, make it plain text, say okay, it's plain text. Go to file, save as. I'm gonna save it on desktop as a file called validate. Uncheck this box. Make sure this is unchecked. This this really 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 important. Then save it. Good. It's saved here as validate. What you then have to do? Go to your desktop. Now for me it's on desktop. You don't have to go to desktop if your file is saved there. Then you have to make it an executable, and you do that using this command. And this is the name of your file, of of course. So sudo chmod u plus x. Press enter. As you can see, this became uh, an executable file. Copy this into where you and in into the folder that you have placed your XML files. For me, it's in first book files, second book files. I'm gonna paste the same validate file in both these folders and in second book. Fantastic. Okay, now. To be able to validate your um, docbook files, as you can see, I'm in, I'm in first book and files ch01.xml. So I'm gonna navigate there in my terminal window. I'm gonna say cd book, cd first book, cd files, and I'm there. So I'm here right now. Good. I'm gonna start validating the ch01. So I'm gonna say validate. Sorry, you are gonna have to start your command with dot forward slash validate and say ch01.xml as you can see perfectly okay it worked perfectly nice you can also validate for example ch00.xml good now you might be curious for example let's say 
I'm going to start a paragraph and I'm going to end the paragraph. But I've made a small mistake here and I've ended with capital P. Good. Now I'm going to I'm going to write here some junk, junk text. Whatever you write here doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that a paragraph or the paragraph tag is closed incorrectly. I'm going to do the validation of chapter 01 again. You can see it, it threw an error. It said chapter 01.xml line 26, as you can see here, line 26, has an issue here. Ending tag mismatch. Perfect. Okay, so it's giving me enough hints so I can go and correct my mistake. Validate it again. Good. Working fine. I get rid of this. So this is the third thing that we wanted to learn, how to validate XML files uh, that are doc book formats. The, the fourth thing, which is the last thing, is we want to generate PDF out of these. Now, this is important and uh, very important. Um, O'Reilly has uh, installed a hook in the SVN repositories for themselves. Um, and they're looking for a specific keyword in your commit text that if you enter that text in your commit text, O'Reilly is going to get that text and generate PDF files out of your uh, docbook XML files. So whenever you're committing something and you want to generate PDF files out of that, Make sure that you type, for example, whatever text you want to say, I entered some text here. This is the important part that you have to enter. You have to type ORM column commit PDF. This is a specific, specific command that O'Reilly's or, or hooks are looking for. So then you commit. Now their engines are going to run in the background, generate the PDF files for you. So this process might take some time. What I suggest is you go to window in Xcode, then go to organizer in your books repository. I mean, the first book, so I'll just go to files. Now, this process might take some time because the PDF files won't be generated immediately. Now, if, for example, you're writing a book that's, for example, 700 or 800 pages, these files might actually take six, seven minutes or even more to get generated. So just be patient with it. I'm going to refresh here and I'm saying update. Let's see if they're generated yet. Oh, you might actually be lucky. Good, nice. Okay, let's just make sure that they're actually correct. Fantastic, okay. I'm gonna check this file, so I'm gonna get these files from the SVN repository. Update, okay, okay. <laughs> nice. Xcode crashed, okay, I'm gonna crash and I'll open Xcode again. <laughs> also reported to Apple. <laughs> okay, I'll open in Xcode again. I'm gonna go to books. It's very embarrassing. I'm gonna go to organizer again and see if it actually got the FOSS for me. Update. It might have re retrieved the files, I'm not sure. Yeah, it might have actually done that. So in the PDF files, right click, open with external editor, and the chapter. Look, look at this, nice. So we got our text here. In this video, we will learn four things. Downloading, exact same things that we typed here are generated in the PDF file. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry I had to talk so fast. Uh, it's just because of the limitation of the videos on YouTube is just limited to 15 minutes. If you have any questions, do let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, in the next video, we'll be talking more about some magic tricks that you can perform with Xcode when you're writing your docbook uh, files. Thank you.